Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you what we do for our 25 days of Christmas. We have been doing what we call 25 days of Christmas since I think 2012. It was the year that I was pregnant with Jane and she was born on the 19th of December. Basically what we do is we just have one Christmas related activity, sometimes two or three per day um, for the 25 days. And so I'm just going to share with you some of our ideas, some of the things that we do, and how I keep track of it all, and we'll get started. Once my kids get a little bit older, if you're new to my channel, I have a three-year-old and a seven-month-old. Once they get a little bit older to where they can even like read, I will probably make the 25 days sort of like an advent calendar where um, I'll have maybe like a string with all the cards on it and each day they can open up each card and it'll tell them what the activity for that day is. But right now, I just keep it on a Excel spreadsheet. That way I can keep track of everything and then I just kind of tell them what we're gonna do each day. Also, this helps so that each year when the 25 days comes up, sometime in November, I can go in and get the days set up and everything situated and it, the Excel spreadsheet is already made. So we kind of just kind of go with that. There's three different categories of stuff that we do. There's movie night, there is activities in the house, and there's activities out of the house. And I kind of have those um, color coordinated on my Excel spreadsheet, that way I can know like what we're doing. A lot of times, especially during the week, by the time Chris gets home, we really don't have too much time to do like a family activity. So most of the weeknights consist of some sort of Christmas movie night. For our movie nights, we like to do um, obviously a Christmas movie, and then we can do like popcorn or even some sort of holiday treat. We don't do that every single movie night, but some of them here and there will make a treat. And sometimes I'll make that treat during the day with the kids. And then once Chris gets home and we've eaten dinner, we can sit down, eat the treat and watch the movie. I invested in a lot of Christmas DVDs back in 2012 when we started this. So I kind of got all the ones that are our favorites and I have them on DVD, that way we don't have to wait for them to come on TV or try to find them or anything. We just already have them and we watch them that way. But you can um, either try to find some movies on Netflix or however you find your movies, you can do that. And I'll share with you some of the movies that we watch as well here in a minute. Also, I like to go on ABC Family and they do the 25 Days of Christmas um, on their channel. And basically, they just play holiday Christmas shows and movies all day long for the 25 days. And I write that list down on my Excel spreadsheet as well. They do have a lot of repeat movies, like they'll play Elf a million times. So I just write down the first time that it comes on and then I'll make sure that I can record it. We do own the Elf movie, but if it's a movie that we don't own, then I'll record it. That way, if there's another random night that's not necessarily a movie night and we want to watch something Christmassy, or even when I'm with the kids at home and we just want something holiday related on in the background while we're playing, we have a bunch of other options for movies already on our DVR. So we like to do that too. The other thing that I have on my spreadsheet is our Elf on the Shelf ideas. We do the Elf on the Shelf. This year is going to be the first year that we're actually going to do it. So. The first year that we had the elf, Jane was really little, like she was like a baby. Last year, I brought the elf out, but she wasn't really interested in the elf and she didn't really understand what was going on. So this year, I've already been talking about the elf and I'm really excited to do all the different elf on the shelf ideas that I have planned. And I just have some written out. I don't have to go by the specific ones I have for that day, but there are specific ones. Um, Jane's birthday does land on um, the 19th of December, so that is during the 25 days. So we'll, the elf will probably do something birthday related that day. Um, and then the first day that the elf shows up is a special day. And then Christmas obviously is a special day. And then the day that the elf leaves is a special day. So there are some that I definitely want to have on those days. 
but then there's just some other random ones that I have listed. Also, another thing that I have on our spreadsheet are the Bible verses that we're gonna read each night during the 25 days of Christmas. I found on Pinterest the Christmas story in the Bible, and it's kind of broken out into 25 days. So you can start on December 1st, you read a few verses, you keep going throughout the day, throughout the 25 days. You can make your own if you want, but that way we're um, also including, obviously, the most important part about Christmas, the story of Jesus' birth, into the whole holiday spirit, holiday activities that we have. And we'll just do that each night before bed. And it really is only like, sorry, I'm looking at my computer at my spreadsheet. It's really only like one to five verses maybe um, each night. So it's not like super long. So some of the movies that we like to watch um, that we actually have are The Nightmare Before Christmas, we have The Elf, we have The Grinch, we have The Christmas Carol, we have Home Alone, um, Santa Claus, Christmas Vacation, Polar Express, Charlie Brown Christmas, and just a few others. Um, obviously there's a bunch of different Santa Claus movies. Those are coming on on the 25 Days of Christmas on ABC Family, so we'll make sure to record those. And um, so we just have like the main ones that we like and that we wanted to invest in. And those are the ones that I include into our list. So then know that we can actually watch those because we have the movies. Now, some of the activities that we do in our house um, on some, maybe on the weekends or even like fitting something in on a day that Chris can come home a little bit early are um, decorating our Christmas tree. Um, making gingerbread houses, making some holiday treats, writing a letter to Santa, a game night. And the past few years, the game night has been for Chris and I. Um, Jane wasn't really into games, but maybe this year we can try to teach her board games. Um, and you can do game night more than one night if you want. And that's fun to do like by a fire with some milk and cookies um, before bedtime. And then the last one is technically out of the house, but it's not anything major. So I Put it in the category of in the house we like to make hot chocolate and then hop in the car and drive around our neighborhood and look at all the lights on the houses in our neighborhood and listen to christmas music so that's a lot of fun for us to do as far as out of the house um, if you don't live in my area then some of this might not apply to you but i'm going to share it with you and then what i basically did was just googled um, holiday activities in my area and these things popped up and this is the second year that we've been here um, and I've noticed that they kind of do the same things each year. Obviously, they're on different dates because most of the stuff lands on weekends. But um, I just kind of Google what the calendar is of, of events and pick which ones we want to go to and kind of go from there. It does make for a lot of going out of the house, a lot of activities, but we don't have to do all of them. But I do like to list them on the 25 days so that we know when things are going on. One of them is going to the Holiday Farmer's Market downtown. Um, there is a festival of lights where you can drive around in the lights here in Charleston um, at a county park, which is awesome. You can also get out of your car and there's um, all sorts of food and cotton candy and um, Ferris wheels and uh, nature walk so you can walk and see more lights. It's a lot of fun. We did it twice last year. Obviously going to see Santa and sitting on Santa's lap is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to see the Nutcracker. Also there's a tree lighting downtown. There's a Christmas parade here. At our aquarium they have they play the Polar Express in like a 4D. It's only 15 minutes long so I think it's like a sh obviously a shortened version of the Polar Express but that's something fun to do even on a weekday with just the kids if Chris can't come and some other few ones but those are just the main ones that we like to do and like I said you can kind of just google what's going on in your area and then the last thing I wanted to talk about is our Christmas Eve traditions we don't have too many crazy traditions on Christmas Eve but one is they open up one gift and it's always some sort of pajamas that they're gonna wear that night and then obviously have on while they open up their gifts the next morning and we also make cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve and leave the cookies out. So that's something that we like to do. And then on Christmas morning, we always have birthday cake for baby Jesus. And whether we do a real cake, maybe after dinner, or most of the time we try to do like a coffee cake or some sort of breakfast muffin cake for breakfast while we're um, opening up gifts. So those are the two traditions that we always try to keep and I have listed on our 25 days. So that is it for the ideas that I have for our 25 days. Like I said, some nights 
some days are only movie nights. If, if it's like a busy day that I know Chris is going to be gone all day and tired when he gets home, we'll just eat dinner and then pop in that, mo that Christmas movie, put the kids to bed, and then we can do whatever we want to do. So some days there's a lot going on, a lot of fun uh, Christmas activities, and some days not so much. But at least each day we're doing something, especially with the Bible verses and the Elf on the Shelf. So um, I hope you guys got some good ideas. Leave in the comments some traditions that you guys have for your Christmas or your Christmas Eve, or if you do 25 days of Christmas, or any other ideas that you can think of that I can add to my list. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!